Hola, Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number 31 for absolute beginners. Wow. 31. 31. Yeah, we're starting with the next lot of 10, so this is really exciting. ¿Cómo estás, Cintia? Estoy muy bien, muy bien, muy contenta ¿Sí? de empezar el número 31 bueno. para principiantes. Toma, ya. Chola. Sí, o con esta mano, ¿no? Mejor. ¿Tú cómo estás? Estoy fenomenal. Estoy, pero, brequete bien. Perfecto. Sí. Requete bien. Requete bien. Requete bien. Mm. Voy a intentar no moverme. Sí. Porque esta silla hace mucho ruido. Escuchad. Sí, muy mal. Y, y la mía <risa> también. Entonces. Vamos podemos, o podemos hacerlo al compás y hacer sí. música. Sí. <laughs> vale. Vale, Cindia. Sí. Uh, so today, what are we talking about? Okay, today we're talking about um, pronunciation. Mm, pronunciation. Yes. In Spanish, clearly. Yes. Mm. Okay, so what's the problem? Okay, the problem is... Well, it's not a problem, I'm just going to help out. Mm -hmm. Because some people... Um, have a little bit of uh, an issue, not problem, I don't want to say problem. It's a problem. Okay. <laughs> it's a big problem actually. <laughs> it's enormous. <laughs> no, they have a little bit of an issue with uh, Y, double L, and B and V, and Z, and what are those? That's, that's really that's the main ones. The main ones but yeah. the, the really main one is the double L and the Y. The y. Mm and they're a bit confused. Why are they confused? Because it's really different. I mean, you can go to Latin America and different places will be different. Sure. In Spain, mm -hmm. different places will be different. So I'm going to do the standard Spanish pronunciation. Standard, because then if you go to the south, it might be different. Mm -hmm. um, south of Spain, I mean. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do the standard pronunciation. Okay. Okay. Do you help me with So with that? look, let, let's one every time that I that I have a beginner's Spanish class and I start saying me llamo. Me yeah? llamo. Mm -hmm. Okay? And people say, excuse me, what why are you what is that? And they'll say, Well, it's double L, so it's a just sound. And they say, Well that's not what I've been taught. That's not what my teacher yes. says, okay? okay and there's a big there's a big question mark around it. But really as you talk about the standard pronunciation for double L. So let, let's do some words like... Double L, be careful with the voice. I'm doing it like do that, Do not okay. separate those two fingers. Okay. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm you look like a gynecologist, this. <laughs> double L. Yeah, double L. Double L, okay. Remind me of a joke, which I'm not going to tell about the gynecologist. Yeah. Go on. Um, who, takes his work home, but he likes to keep his hand in. Anyway. Oh uh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't, we'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. That's horrible. Right. So, oh Cynthia, God. let me give you some words with double L and you tell us how they should be pronounced. So, okay. for example, to carry, double L, E, V, A, R. Llevar. 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 Remember that V is the same as B in pronunciation. So even if you see a V, it's a B sound. Llevar. So not llevar, because lots of English people say llevar. Uh -huh. um, Do you know what, what's interesting about that? When I'm listening to your V as a B, yeah. it's not a solid, like a, like a British B. It's not that strong. Yeah. It's, kind of, it's in, kind of in between. Llevar. Not, it's not B. llevar. No, it's not B. No. Llevar, bar, 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 bar. Un bar, como un bar. Uh -huh. Like a bar, llevar, uh -huh. llevar. Oh, yeah, maybe the, the, when the you, English When you said bar, bar, it was much bar. stronger. Did you hear bar. the difference? Where, so it's, it's kind of bar. like there's something bar. in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sí. yeah. Okay, so, um, and what about the rain? Lluvia, 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 lluvia. Lluvia. Okay, so not lluvia. Lluvia, no. Lluvia, no. Lluvia. 
Julia. So then it's got another V in, so that's like a B, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and what about uh, to call, the verb to call? Llamar. 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 And okay. remember to pronounce the R uh at the end. American people, North American people tend to be better at that because they do pronounce the R anyway a little bit uh, more than English yeah. people. And English people just say R. Uh, like a long a. Yamar. Yamar. So it's not Jamar, Jamar. Mm -hmm. So you, we do pronounce the R at the mm. end of a word. And mm. everywhere mm -hmm. we pronounce the R. Yeah. In truth, in, in English, if, you are v if you're very posh, <laughs> it goes against you for Spanish because, because if you try to speak Spanish with a very posh accent. <laughs> yeah. Suena no, así. No, no, fun, no funciona. <laughs> eh, oh, and fun. vale. See? To work, which is funciona, it's that is not funciona, funciona, funciona. Only one z, only, uh, z. F only one c. one c, yeah. One c, funciona. See, it's a very com very common mistake to put a, a k, k th. Yeah. Um, the same as the word um, civil servant is funcionario, funcionario. I used to say fun funcionario for for no. years, and Cynthia would let me. Let me do that. Funcionarios. You let me do that Funcion for years. I never heard. We never talked about funcionarios. We never, talk <laughs> we never talked for years, yeah. Um, okay. Cindia. Um, what about horse? Horse. Horse. Caballo. Un caballo. 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 Okay. Have you noticed how absolutely noticeable the double L is? It's a j, j sound, okay? Uh, and lots of people have said, ah, but in Latin America they don't do that. And I wasn't sure about it. Then we watched a, a, a really say, great yeah. program, uh, series on YouTube ah, called Popo Ah, American. Yo. Hang on. Where? Because you can go to Argentina it's, and they would say caballo. Caballo. Yeah. And it's, it's a shit. It's, a it's shit. enormous. It's an enormous thing to say in Latin America. Or oh, oh, uh, Uruguay. They would say caballo. Caballo. Well. Sí. But standard Latin America. Standard. Mm -hmm. That's so, an American. Yeah. So there was po Poco Yo, which is on YouTube, um, and there's a Spanish version and the English version. I rec recommend that you watch, if you were learning Spanish, watch Poco Yo, uh, because it's really good Spanish. The guy speaks beautifully, doesn't he? And then there's yeah. the, um, the Latin American version, right? And there was the little boy, Poco Yo, was shouting horse, horse, okay? And the Latin American version, the, the J was even stronger. You were saying, caballo, 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 really strong. So I thought, well, no, in Latin America too, it, it exists. It is caballo as well. Mm. Mm. Caballo. Mm -hmm. mm. So I've got this sentence with the V's, B's and double L and Y. We haven't touched on the Y, have we? Can I give you a couple of words on Y? Okay, because yeah? we only have a minute okay. and 30 seconds. Um, so how do you say I? Yo. Yo. So there's no not jo, <laughs> not u, jo, o, jo. So that's the same j as you double l. Do you si. think there's a difference? No. No. Mm. No. No difference in standard Spanish. Standard Spanish from Spain. I yeah. don't want to say. And, that, and that's why when Spanish people say yes, what do they say? Yes. <laughs> we say yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bien. La, uh, la frase, the sentence? Okay, the sentence is Yo le llevo un vaso de vino a Beatriz que mm. vive en Mallorca. Ooh. Otra vez. Yo le llevo la silla, no. the chair. Yo le llevo un vaso de vino a Beatriz que vive en Mallorca. Wow. Mm. And the Z as well in Beatriz. That's a name that finishes with a Z. Beatriz, like TH. And in the standard Castilian. Uh, oh, time's up. Time up. Ooh. I'm not sure whether I like that very Stop much. Stop that, please. Or... <laughs> there. We'll just, we'll
we'll just cut that bit out. Okay. Okay, and just out of interest, Cynthia used uh, the, the the name of the uh, the country, Mallorca. Okay. Country. It's a country, isn't it? Mallorca. Uh -huh. It's not a country. What is it? It's a region. Mallorca is a region. Yes. Is it not its own little country? That's Andorra. No, but Mallorca, Menorca. That no. Mallorca, Menorca, part of the part of Isla Corsia, yeah. Baleares. Scratch that out. We'll cut that out. No. Okay. <laughs> Don't cut that. You leave that there saying that Mallorca is we'll its own out. country. It's its own country. <laughs> okay. When we, when the Brits started going over to, um, over to Mallorca, when we would write it, we would write it with the J, Mallorca. That was how Mallorca. it used to be spelled because that's how that's what we heard. Yeah. We didn't realize. We thought that Mallorca, Mallorca with double L, Mallorca, as we used to say. And Mallorca, we thought they were two, two different places. We thought they were what? Menorca. Ah, Menorca is a place. Yeah, Menorca. we thought it existed. Menorca, Mallorca, and Mallorca. Mallorca. <laughs> Mallorca. If someone said that to me, Mallorca, <laughs> I would not know what that is. I know. Mallorca. Mallorca. Remember the R. Pronounce the R. Mallorca. Okay. Excellent. So with that, we'll we'll do lots of um, sort of exercises for you to practice, maybe to read out loud in the help sheets. Yeah. I can't believe you said Mallorca is its own country. Okay, we'll cut that. Mallorca is just like... Um, Valencia. No, I was going to say, yeah, Valencia or Iralsa, it's all Spanish. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> bueno, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, eh, Cintia. A ti, Gordon. Gracias. Eh, y nos vemos eh, en el próximo, entonces. Nos vemos. Y, y nos, nos vamos. vamos. Se me olvidó. Hace tanto tiempo. Y nos vamos. Hasta luego. Adiós.